Guys, this is how I make my chestnut. Just put the chestnut in the pot. And whoopsie. Put the water. Let it boil. And when you don't see water and it looks a little bit dry, then that's all done. This will be my breakfast this morning. Just coffee. It's got green onion and sausage in it. And the bread is soft. So yeah from Sweet Hut in Atlanta. <laughs> we bought a bunch. Yeah. And Joshua here said hello. Yes, <laughs> 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 run away, run away. Run away. <laughs> bye bye. Whoopsie. So this is Shanghai bok choy. Uh, it's more crunchy than the regular ones and smaller and it tastes kind of similar to cabbage actually but pretty good. At HMR they didn't have the regular one like fresh. It was kind of old so I went with this. We'll cook the same way like I always do. Garlic and salt and pepper and at the end I always add a little bit of sesame oil that's all and it tastes really good this is it Joshua is having some of soup and leftover meat things like that so this is it with a bowl of rice to see this look at this big tree that is fake and that one right there I'm so excited I love it so much let me see look at this how pretty is that and I absolutely love the color combination and you know just the whole look of it it is just giant and big and the total I paid 66 like including tax and the soil I bought and the rocks and Josh is keep saying hi over there they're playing a, a big mess but that's what they like to do so I let them do it and then later on we clean up after they're done playing and now I am going to work out oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! You're gonna read the book here? With mommy working out? You're so good.
Guys, I'm done working out. If you wonder, I've been working out and yeah, I've been feeling better. Uh, but still kind of slowly going up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did. I started 30 minutes in the beginning or 35. Now I go up to 40 and 45, just depending on how the kids do uh, around me working out. Anyhow, um, yeah, I've been doing it and yeah, loving it. Believe it or not, I used to work out a lot yeah. hours when I was in my 20s, so. Want to take a shower? Mm -hmm. Guys, I just took a shower and let me update you guys the skincare line that I mentioned in my last mm. vlog. Loxitan and Proven. It's the Immortal Divine line. So these are four that I've been using for now three weeks straight or almost one month now. So like I said, the serum in that video, it really has a very strong smell to it. So I'm not a big fan of that, but I must say I love their moisturizer the most. And they have also the new different line. These are the almond, so it's got the almond oil. I've been actually really liking them. It says delightful body balm. Looks like so, I've been using up and I took this with me to Atlanta and it is very, very, very soft and smells divine. I love almond just to eat, <laughs> but it's got the almond oil in it and it's got so many great things in it. I will have the link to the same one down below. This is oil base and the bottle I absolutely love. So beautiful and it's really heavy actually and it's a glass. That's why I took this one with me to Atlanta, but I love, love, love. And I wanted to read you guys a bit. It says almond supple skin oil is suitable for all women looking for a more tonic and smoother skin. So it gives three different effects and skin is hydrated for 48 hours. That's the first and second is skin feels firmer. Good thing. The last thing is skin is beautified and it's like a spray, but it's oil. My face is the combination skin, but my body tends to get dry. Yeah especially when the weather changes. So anyways, thank you so much Loxitin for sending me these and collaborating with me. I really appreciate it and I really, really love. You guys should try if you guys love body lotion or a balm or anything to put on your body and love delicious smell. Oh, it's really, really nice. Love it. And I will have the link to the ones that I to show you guys in this video. Is it? Yeah. Guys, I am making oxtail soup and just yeah. have only oxtail meat instead of the water. It's five o'clock, so I still have time to make dinner. So this has been boiling up for hours and hours. You really don't have to do that. You could just do about five hours. That would be great. So, uh-oh, Lydia is waking up. I can hear her. Um, anyways, I just really simple because some of you guys asked me to show how to make it. So let me get Lydia first. I just nursed Olivia and she's right here. Olivia, hello. Hi, mommy. She likes to take off my uh, slippers, whatever I'm wearing, and and here is the rice cooker. It's saying. It's taking all the skin out, ready almost. Yeah. Okay, Lydia is having him mandarins. Now you can see the oil that's going up, so I'm gonna take that out of it so I don't drink oil. <laughs> so you guys see how much oil that I got rid of. Like that much. It's like a half of oil, so I'll put that out. I'll have the link to the video where 
I shared how I made my oxtail soup uh, in a pot on the stove so you can see how I made that way and normally with that I put the soup in the refrigerator and then after the day or hours later on the oils all go up and it's easier to get rid of it so but this way also works and still tastes great and I just like don't like to just drink the oil you know I know it tastes better mm, but you know just gonna take that off and start to make the soup so after getting rid of all the oil and you can see I still have some but anyways I'm gonna leave that and cool it down and put it in the refrigerator for next time to make soup again and I put like a half of it so I'm going to make soup today I'm gonna add some green onion in it the whole chunk of it so it just gives like deeper flavor I'm gonna let it boil about 20 minutes or so while I'm you know preparing other things to put in here so guys I put some green onions and oopsie you cannot really see anyways you can see it's boiling so I don't really like to add some mushroom in it but I don't have it tonight so I'm going to put some uh, broccoli I <laughs> said mushroom and I will have some tofu and Josh just say he likes broccoli so and here is the rice woohoo looks good that I love rice uh, I mix brown rice and white rice together like brown rice 40% and white 60 or actually more than that oopsie <laughs> sorry guys it's hot so I love this rice cooker by the way it is awesome I like soft tofu better than the firm kind firm is too firm soft tofu is not too too soft if you get the silky kind that's really soft cut it like so my kids love tofu You guys know, I mean, the second time I make, I'll also show you guys how I make with the tomato and eggs. Just the combination is really good in my opinion. So, yeah, kind of, you know, being creative. <laughs> in Korea, they don't put broccoli, they don't put uh, tofu in here for oxtail soup. Since my kids like tofu and broccoli, so yeah, it's my version of it. So this is it. I don't put anything, just salt and pepper, that's it. But it tastes so good, trust me. You need to try this. These are so cute. What is that for? It turns out really perfect. So hot, so good. The meat is super tender and it just breaks like so. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. H Mart oxtail because it's got a lot of meat, not too fat. So, yeah. I don't like to cook too long when I put this type of broccoli because it cooks fast. My battery ran out, so 
Anyways, the tofu is soft, but still it's not too soft, like, you know, breaking everywhere. So I like that soft tofu. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys definitely should try this if you haven't. And um, yeah, I, was, I really enjoyed when you guys sent me the picture of, you know, the food that you guys made from watching my videos. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna have dinner now and talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for dinner, mommy. Oh, okay. How was it? Good. I like it. I like all of it. <laughs> Josh finished all. Oh my I goodness. I like it. He drank the soup with the rice inside. Good. Good for you. Good morning guys. Here is a care package from my friend Robin. <laughs> Joshua just got here. I'm gonna open it. Joshua. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that is so cute. Look. Whoa, more rabbits. <gasps> oh my lord. Candy! Chocolate! Chanchi kimchi kuksu. Oh Look. yeah! Look, my favorite. That's your favorite. Yeah. Oh, Joshua's favorite. Oh, I like it. Oh, sweet. Oh, what's this? So much. Oh, chocolate. This looks so yummy. Oh, what's this? Japanese bread. Oh my god. Open it. Open it. Open it. Chocolate. Chocolate. <gasps> This is for Robin. I remember Robin. She already sent me. Oh yeah, she loves yeah. That's the best thing. Ah. Oh yeah, I love that one. This what? in Korea they also have the similar one, and I used to eat that. And this, she remember? I love this. <gasps> yes, I like it. Too. You guys, I mean, this is Look. so much fun. <gasps> I love this thing. Oh, Robin, thank you so much. She didn't really have to send me. This is her, her second time sending me the care package. <gasps> Lydia woke up. <laughs> Lydia woke up and that's her favorite thing <laughs> on her hair. She likes to have it on. Anyways, they are playing with it and Jasha oh, opened up it. this. Oops. Oh man. We're gonna eat them all today, I bet. <laughs> Hi guys, this is my house. This is your house. Josh has got a new house. And he said he's got the kitchen in it, and bathroom in it, and everything in it. And Lydia wants to visit him. Guess what? Uh, I'm making this for myself only. And they already ate. Lydia, you just ate! Oh my goodness! I know not the best thing to eat, but sometimes, yeah, it's good. And when I make my ramen, I like to put the powder and the thing that comes with the dried uh, vegetables and stuff. I put them first before the water boils. So here it is. And just wait till it boils. And Joshua is up here. He wants to see everything, what's going on. And Lydia is coming up also right down there. Um, I'm making noodle for Joshua because he's gonna want noodle anyways. He loves noodles, so that's that. And a little bit left, I will put it in my ramen also. I go put the noodle in, my, in your ramen. Yeah, a little bit, can I do that? No, you can put that. So I cut half in here. I we'll just wait till it boils come a lot and then I put an egg. God, come to my house. Go to your house? But that's too small. Nobody can go in. Why? Only Lydia can go in, I think. Oh, only me. Only you? Because it's your house? I understand. Oh, Lydia wants to get in. Goodness. Ugh. The egg is in it and boiling, boiling, boiling. It's pretty spicy, so if you cannot handle spiciness, um, put more water in it. <laughs> That'll help. And more eggs. You can have two eggs in it. It will taste good too. And I like to eat it with kimchi. 
Uh, as a side dish, this is gonna be my dinner tonight. I just been wanting to eat this. And Robin, you sending me that care package, um, helping me to have this. So yeah, I'll enjoy this tonight. I have my camera on top of bread, so <laughs> it keeps going down. <laughs> And I haven't had ramen for years. Mm. Man, Lydia, she ate dinner already. By the way, guys, don't worry. I don't give ramen to my kids. This is my egg. Egg tastes even better uh, cooking with the ramen sauce. And that's the yellow part, the yolk. I haven't had it for a long time, so it's like kicking me in and I'm crying. Oh, well. All done. It was good. It was good, but spicy. I'm crying. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to make the leftover soup with tomato and egg. So, like I said, no. I'll show you guys. Mommy, can you not eat this? No, she needs to eat dinner. She wants yogurt from Trader Joe's. <laughs> guys, I'm making soup and my husband just came home and <laughs> look at this flower. How oh, nice! I didn't expect that he will <laughs> buy me this today. Uh, it's not like birthday or anything like that. I just wanted to... Yeah, buy me flower and there's a butterfly and this is so pretty and unexpected. I'm gonna put it in the vase and I'm gonna enjoy it. Love the color and that's my husband. I just changed my shirt so so pretty. Yeah, anyways, I am making soup. So i show you guys. Just have three tomatoes here. The 
half of the food that I saved last night. I'm using it. I'm gonna just use it up. So the soup is boiling, boiling, boiling. And then now I am going to put some tomatoes. I use three tomatoes in here. Of course, you don't have to use tomatoes. It's like, you know, it's really up to you. And I am always like, you know, just make the way how I like to make and see if my kids love and my husband likes if they don't then i don't make it again that's the way how i cook so once it boils i'll just put some eggs and that'll be it so in korea we make the soup in two different ways one will be the light like just you know clear uh soup that you use daikon radish and uh, onion when you boil the soup with the oxtail for hours and then you go from there the second way to make is to make it spicy a little bit of red pepper paste and uh, powder um, yeah anyways uh, but in our family we don't eat spicy food and we also use the oxtail by itself it, it just gives really deep deep great flavor to the soup this is like second way to make and another way to make you can add noodle in it you guys have seen me making it a couple of times i believe if i find the videos that i made that noodle with this soup i'll have the link to it down below in the description box so now i'm going to put in three eggs and that's how it looks like and i wish i had more tomatoes put in here but anyways that's all i had so that is that and the soup is really good if you're sick or just you know when it rains in korea we like to have soup when it's cold also of course everybody likes to have soup i'm gonna put some green onion here a little bit <laughs> and there Lydia's plate and yeah I'll put some soup on top so yeah this is it and that's Joshua's right there Joshua's and Lydia's <laughs> <laughs> what's going on Joshua <laughs> he's wearing Lydia's sunglasses <laughs> So that is my husband's and that's mine. So yeah, our dinner. Mm -hmm.
side too. Look at me, guys. What are you doing, Joshua? I'm a real. Look at me, guys. What are you? Please. <laughs> uh, where's your gun? Thank you. This is a hit. Bad. You need to hit people? Yeah. The bad guys? Yeah. Okay. So look at this. I just put it up here and guess what? Yeah. This coffee table got here. Uh, it's been here for a couple of weeks and yeah, DJ likes that color. Of course, it's pink. It's beautiful, I love it. And this one and these are gonna go. We haven't found the one that, you know, we both really like. So that coffee table is gonna go up right here. So it's gonna have a lot more space for kids to run around and play like what Lydia is doing. <laughs> and this one came also and I really love it. I love the marble. And on the bottom, the brushed gold, and Joshua just turned the light off. What's going on now? Joshua, what happened? Did you find the bad guy? Nope. Nope. Okay, keep searching then. Ah, uh, so yeah, so far that's what's going on. And you see that peace lily? I absolutely love that plant. And you just have to water it like two cups. Two times a week, that's what the guy told me to do at the store where I got it and love it. And that looking also good, but I'm not sure if this is what I'm gonna have it here. And about the house, we're not sure. We're still hunting and looking for the new house or build a new one. Anyways, that's so far what's going on. This is our dessert tonight. Warm, heat it up. And then dip it. The vanilla ice cream. 